Hey Maria, how are you? Can you please wash the dishes? I'm tired all day teaching my students in oral communication. Locutionary act. A pleasant morning to everyone. For today's lesson, we are going to tackle about different type of speech acts. Who among you can define what is speech act? Sir, I have an asner. Okay, Don, go ahead. A speech act is an utterance that serves a function in communication. A speech act might contain just one word, as in, sorry. To perform an apology, or several words or sentences, I'm sorry I forgot your birthday. Very good, Don. Keep it up. In addition to that, did you know that there are different types of speech act? The locutionary act, illocutionary act, and the perlocutionary act. But for now we are going to focus on locutionary act. Okay for the next question. Who can give me the definition of locutionary act? Sir, can I answer again? Okay, Don, go ahead. In speech act theory, a locutionary act is the act of making a meaningful utterance, a stretch of spoken language that is preceded by silence and followed by silence or a change of speaker, also known as a locution or an utterance act. The term locutionary act was introduced by British philosopher J. L. Austin in his 1962 book. How to do things with words. American philosopher John Searle later replaced Austin's concept of locutionary act with what Searle called proportional act of expressing a preposition. In basic words locutionary act is. Locutionary act is. Is what? Locutionary act is the literal utterance without the intention. In addition of what he said locutionary acts can be broken into two basic types. Utterance acts and propositional acts. An utterance act is a speech act that consists of the verbal employment of units of expression such as words and sentences, notes the glossary of linguistic terms. But another way, utterance acts are acts in which something is said or a sound is made that may not have any meaning. According to Speech Act Theory, a PDF published by ChangingMinds.org, by contrast, propositional acts are those, as Searle noted, where a particular reference is made. Propositional acts are clear and express a specific definable point, as opposed to mere utterance acts, which may be unintelligible sounds. Examples of locutionary act. Happy birthday, Peter. Peter, can you please open the window? The forest is beautiful. It's raining outside. Thank you, sweetie. 